The liberation struggle remain muted. The play Sobukwe, My Husband, makes a return after being shown in Grahamstown for the very first time in 2012. This in honor for the icon and to celebrate this struggle hero. And for more on the play, we're joined by Given Chikwane, the director and the writer from our Seapoint Studios in Cape Town. A very good morning to you, Given, and thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Well, morning, say hi. Good, how are you? Now, uh, what has become of the memories uh, we, have, we have of the late Sobukwe and how they are illustrated in the show? Well, uh, the play, it's more uh, with Mrs. Sobukwe talking about uh, her husband, you know, because we know uh, that Sobukwe is a political figure. But the play, it's in a love triangle where Mrs. Sobukwe uh, share, uh, share with us uh, the, the, the journey with uh, her husband, uh, uh, Dr. Robert Sobukwe. So that's what uh, you see on the play more than anything uh, politically. Yeah. Indulge us on the feel of the play. Uh, what is it we're trying to put across about Sobukwe? The first thing is uh, his humanity, uh, his contribution to South Africa for promotion of uh, humanity, education, and also his honesty and dedication to the, to the, the people of South Africa and how he wanted uh, uh, people to, 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 to be patriotic about their land and uh, their country and all that. And having said that, what kind of uh, Sobukwe's teaching do you think helps in today's life? Well, yes, the play on, on, on itself, it, 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 it's, it's a vehicle for education to, to, to talk about his contribution because you, we, we, we might know that uh, Tatu Sobukwe has been silent and uh, we don't know him a lot and in the current uh, youth, they don't know about his contribution not only politically, but education. You must remember that he was a SRC at 40 in 1949, that famous speech as a student. It's relevant, this fees must fall. There's an issue about uh, education in South Africa that needs to be free. So those elements are relevant to the play because Tatu Sobukwe in the 40s, when he was still a student at Forte, he touched on, on, on those things. So it is relevant. And the play was uh, shown in Cape Town a few weeks ago. So what was the response you got from the people who attended? Well, it was well received and uh, people, they felt that uh, the play should be extended. So we're working on it now uh, so that we can have other shows at the University of Stellenbosch. So definitely it's going to be a very good uh, thing for us to, to do the show so that we can showcase it in Cape Town and also there's lineup in Jovek as well. Now given a transformation has been in the news almost on a regular basis. I mean it seems like 24 years into our democracy there's still a long way to go. Uh, what are your thoughts on transformation especially in education and the arts uh, which has been in the forefront? <clears throat> uh, well if you talk about transformation, there's a lot that needs to be done uh, because, first of all, if you go to the textbook in, in, in grade 11, grade 10, grade 11, we're still learning about Shakespeare, we're still learning about uh, European uh, conventions, which is uh, Elizabethan theatre, Upset theatre, you name them. We don't, we, we, we don't talk about our, our own artist, our own style of... Uh, arts and all that so i think there's there's not that much when you talk about transformation but i think if we get a lot of panels like this and then we're able to share and we're able to discuss and debate about these issues yeah so now that the play has already been shown uh, what is planned to preserve sobuwe's legacy well First of all, we, we have never staged a play about uh, this uh, magnitude hero. Uh, what is planned is that uh, we are hoping to, to revive his spirit through this play, 
We are hoping to revive ourselves also as humans, uh, sharing to the audience because it is very important now and critical that uh, because also in Parliament they're talking about land now uh, to share some of the the philosophy that he, he left us. Yeah. So we are only a quarter into the year. So what else is planned? You know to commemorate uh, Sobukwe. There's a lot. There's exhibition. In, I think in Soweto there'll be an exhibition around June because obviously we'll know that uh, some people, they don't know that uh, also Robert Sobuke, while he was in Kimberley, uh, uh, he also contributed on June 16 because there were talks between, if you'll know the history of South Africa on the left side, because always we always hear about Hector Peterson and all that, but in a true sense that there were old people who were inspiring students during the uprising uh, period. And uh, Robert Soboko, uh, if you read the, 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 the report of the, the court case in 1977, uh, his name was among the people who, who started the, the, the June 16 uprising. So there will be a lot of exhibition in that regard uh, in, in, in Soweto. Uh, and also in Forte, there are lectures that are occurring already about his contribution. And also around South Africa, the students, Pasma and other uh, areas, they are busy doing his lectures. All right, Given, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. All right, uh, Robert Zubuge was the founding president of the uh, Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, PAC. Well, he's recognized today as having been uh, one of the seminal thinkers of his time. This is one of the events from the Zubuge 40 years on program. A lot more can be expected later on in the year. All right, let's go for an air break now. This is Morning Live.